my website right now and download my free course on alternate picking mastery. It contains five essential exercises that will take you to alternate picking mastery faster than you can imagine. And then I've included my method of how to lay out a practice plan in just one to two minutes that will absolutely boost your results like nothing you ever tried before. So go download it right now. It's free. Heard from a guy commenting on a YouTube video who said he's been practicing one of the licks runs that I showed him in one of the YouTube videos, and he's at 200 beats per minute on the metronome, and he just can't seem to push to that last level. It's like that's a barrier to getting that, you know, last increase before he's on the level he wants to be. Why is that so hard? What's ha what, what? Is he on a plateau? Or is there something keeping him from getting there? Well, very often, as we become better, we actually increase the challenge as we try to get more. So uh, developing anything is an exponential growth curve. It's really slow in the beginning. And then as you, you know, become better and better, it suddenly doubles the double and you explode through the roof and suddenly it's easy to learn anything you want to learn. Um, most people never get to that explosion because they give up or they don't create the momentum they, they, they really need by engaging in the right behavior they need to. But as you become better, it seems that, you know, the last 10% takes as much practice as the first 90 sometimes. Uh, that's not entirely true, but it feels like that sometimes. So if you want to increase those last 10%, just amp up. It's like a test every time, right? It's like nature or reality is really testing you to see if you're really serious about this. So, and, but I, the cool thing is, once you push through to the highest level with just one thing, with just that one run or sequence or that core progression or whatever it is, and you pushed it all the way to the max, all the way to the top capability of what your body can do, once you did that with one thing, then everything else becomes easier. But that is the test. So how do you gain the last 10, 15% of speed? You push even harder. You focus even more. You don't strain yourself and practice while tensing up, but you just say, okay, to heck with it. I don't care. I'm going to do the last 10, 15%. I'm just going to go backtracking. I'm going to slow down. And then I'm going to do a million repetitions of the same little freaking thing because I'm stopping. I won't go quietly into the night and give up and say, okay, that's the level I can get to. Let the other magical, you know, talented, inborn capability guys do the rest. You don't do that. You don't settle for that. You push all the way. And you do that by taking a few steps back when it comes to tempo, when, and then you just push even harder. You just practice even more you, until you're at that level. And once you're at that level and can play just one thing at the top level of what your body is capable of, then you have the trophy. And then you have that medal around, it's invisible, but you have that medal around your neck that says, I can do it. I can do whatever I put my mind to. And your brain knows it. Your whole system knows it. You've carved out, carved out a path in your, in your brain that says, okay, this is how to do it. This is the path. And that creates total certainty within you because you know that now you've actually done something that most people would have given up you know, long before. So you're one of those guys. So it sticks to your identity even. And you start expecting it from yourself. So much of the frustration and hopelessness and all that thing, all that that, you know, disappears suddenly when you develop your skills. So you become much more unconscious. You know the, the feeling of driving in a car and it's the first time you take that trip. You got a new, you know, place of work, whatever, and you drive there and your brain is constantly asking, are we there yet? Is this close now? Are we there yet? So the whole trip is like it takes forever because you're, you're checking in all the time and say, oh, where are we now? Is it, is it now? Is it this far? Is, are we there? Because it's new. Once you've been, you know, taking that trip 10, 20, 30 times, your mind just wanders off and thinks about something else. And then suddenly the trip is like, it's like a tenth of the time you spent before, or at least half or, you know, 25%. Or so it feels. It's the same trip. But it feels easy. It feels quick. And that's what happens once you reach the highest level of mastery with just one little sequence, with just three notes on one string or those four chords that you can now play. <laughs> whatever it is, right? Play as rapidly as, as, as you possibly can. And you, oh, it's everything about speed, Klaus. No, but speed is a good measure of 
being able to play it totally with total certainty, right? If you can play it 50% or double the rate, then how much extra, how many extra resources do you have when you need to play it at the actual tempo? Right, then you can really put some soul into it because now it's super easy to play. So always push to play it much faster than you really need to. But so that's what happens. Suddenly, the rest of your skill level development is like, poof, you know, you're not frustrated anymore. It's the most amazing thing. So push even harder, not by straining, but by pulling back, becoming very stubborn and saying, I've got this far. Am I going to push through the finishing line or am I, am I going to be one of the 99% that gives up just before the finishing line? Right? So that's it. Subscribe for more free videos. Do it. Do it now. Do it.